So how often do you come to the library? Every single day. Every single day? What is that? It's um, a watermelon. Yay, you got it! Oh, I missed that part. That's right. Yeah. You missed all those parts. <laughs> I really did. Five from you? All right. Whoa, thank you. The library has always been about reading and learning and always will be. We have some impressive statistics that reflect the usage of our library system, but our real impact comes from core services that we provide to young minds. Kindergarten readiness, homework help centers, and story times. Story time is all about getting kids ready to read and letting them be ready for success in kindergarten. And we make sure to stay current on research from the Ohio Department of Education so that we know what it takes to be successful in kindergarten. Story time is so much more than just reading books to kids. Um, we are building in every ready to read skill that there is. Just, you know, recognizing print, saying your alphabet, recognizing that a story has a beginning and a middle and an end. All these things are happening during one 30-minute story time at the library. Columbus Metropolitan Library has implemented the first Ready to Read Corps in the nation. No other library system has this progressive or as innovative of a kindergarten readiness program for families in the community. We have an expansive, extensive home visiting program for parents and caregivers of babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. Right now I'm reading what pictures are and telling her what they are to try and get her to know shapes and colors so when she does finally get to like pre-k kindergarten she'll know. She's a sweetheart. Abby's a sweetheart. She's very patient. She's doing what most people's won't do to put the effort and time into these little, little kids. It keeps a lot of kids off the streets. I would like to move us in the direction of being an integral part of ensuring that every single child in our community is prepared for kindergarten. We're getting there. We've already built these relationships with these kids through summer reading club, through story time, and it's great to get to see them grow up, but it's also an opportunity for us to show them that you can solve your problems. We're here, we listen, and, and try to get them moving along and into their next step or their next goal. We've grown so much that we've had to put tables outside of our homework help center because we are just running out of space. When I went to kindergarten, um, I needed help, so I went to the library and they really helped me a lot um, and I really got get good grades. I usually like do my homework and I hang out, so it's a win-win, I would say. People are nice and they treat me like I don't want to be treated. It gives a kid the chance to know that like you may not get help at home, but if you come here, we have people in eighth grade like myself, like we help kids out. And they're really helpful people. I mean, like I'd like to be one of them one day. Our staff is very passionate about every kid who comes to the door. And anybody who works here knows we learn every kid's name who comes to these doors. I've worked at this location for five years and I've seen so many kids that don't make it. You invest in them and you hope that they'll make it. We try to show them that College isn't something that's way off over here, that it is attainable. We want to give these kids hope that you can do it, and you can do this. So I've heard some people say that the Library of the Future may not have any print books at all. And I'm not sure I agree with that, but there's one thing I'm certain about, and that is preparing a child for a successful life is not a fad. And that's something that we do very well every day and will continue to do at the Columbus Metropolitan Library.